When I was in my first year of university, just in general science, I started asking people, what can I do with my bachelor's of science? And the answer I kept getting was research. And to me, that meant closed off in a lab. I wanted to be working with the public. I wanted to be hands-on, like on the front lines. And so that's when I started thinking, which professional program suits my needs? So pharmacy was it for me. You look at the faculty of pharmacy and it, it, it really uh, stuck out to me for, for several reasons. It, it married uh, like two, two critically important things to me, which was um, the cell biology background. It coupled that with working in a team environment and really putting uh, hands-on application of those skills. And I think that was one of the most exciting things for me as a student getting into pharmacy. For most people, you think of the retail pharmacist um, and the dispensary aspect of it. Uh, but in reality, we specialize in medication management and optimization of medications. So we do have a very important role to play in an interdisciplinary team. We're going to look at what you're taking, what medical conditions you have, and make sure that all these things will work with you in terms of your schedule and your quality of life and that which you've discussed with your doctor. Pharmacists are one of the most accessible healthcare professions, if not the most accessible healthcare profession. We're the go-to people. We're at the front lines. Pharmacists in retail and community are the ones that patients seek probably more than any other healthcare professional. So the main four things a pharmacist is looking for is, is the medication necessary? Does that person really need to be taking it? Um, also, is that medication effective for the condition that it's supposed to be treating? Um, also, safety is a big one. So will this medication cause adverse reactions in this patient? Are there any drug interactions? Is it safe for them to take? And lastly, they look at adherence. Can this patient take this medication as required on a daily basis, or will they have problems with that? Well, I think we have a really great faculty. There's a lot of professionals here who have worked out in the community, and they've done great things in different areas of pharmacy. I work at BC Children's Hospital, and I'm actually the pharmacist in the ICU, the intensive care unit there. So I'm actually in the unit, going around with the physicians and the nurses and other members of the healthcare team at the bedside making decisions about the child's drug therapy. The Faculty of Pharmacy at UBC now has this new building, which is absolutely wonderful. It's state-of-the-art, award-winning, and great facilities for students and for those who teach here, like myself. It's been incredible teaching in this building. The new Pharmacy Practice Center um, allows students to really uh, be able to move around in, in an environment that really mirrors what it would be like in, in practice. As part of the program, um, we're lucky enough to have um, some human patient simulators and students get to practice hands-on, um, taking heart rates, taking blood pressures, so that they're comfortable touching patients, comfortable with the skill, the technique of it. Pharmacy is a changing profession. The government is currently funding different clinical services, and they include medication reviews, they include immunizations. Uh, adaptations of prescriptions. The great thing about pharmacy that I find in regards to other healthcare professions is that there's such a balance between uh, business as well as healthcare. I knew that I wanted to do more with my profession and so that's why Jason and I got together and we started our own business. In our business we strive to be non-dispensing community-based clinical pharmacists. We run clinics in Aboriginal communities where we partner with the home and healthcare team and we see people on home visits and we see people for appointments in the clinics. One of the big issues we see is polypharmacy. That's where a patient is on multiple medications for the same indication, for the same treatment. The benefit of having a pharmacist there now is if we work alongside with those existing physicians, we can help identify the medications that are not needed and make things a lot simpler for the patient. The patients that we do see, their blood pressure targets are better, their sugar levels are better controlled, and they experience less adverse reactions to their medications. 99% of the time, the patients will leave the appointment saying, wow, this is a fantastic service. Why isn't it offered anywhere else? Thank you so much. It's helped me so much. I think as a pharmacist, you certainly can make a huge difference um, in your uh, patient's life and certainly save lives at that. 
Right now I'm doing a directed studies project at Children's Hospital. I'm actually part of the multi-organ transplant team and I get to see patients on a daily basis. So I've always wanted to make a difference and pharmacy allows me to do that. You will not find a profession which has more opportunities to do more of a, a variety of things. I can go to a small town and really just become a pillar of that community. I can be the go-to guy for all of the questions that they have. I can go to a hospital and I can work on a small team with physicians and nurses and really get that face time with each patient and really feel like I'm making a difference there. Or if I'm more business savvy, I can start my own pharmacy. The opportunities are there. It's a thriving business. It really challenges you. It's a great profession to get into.